How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal. Used to be Jimmy Falcone. I may be living like a jerk in witness protection, but back in the day, I was a made guy. I was the head of a crew and no one could touch me. Basically, I had it made. It's a funny story how that happened. This one night, they told me to keep Don Gambini away from his house because his wife was throwing him a surprise birthday party. Everyone's acting all weird and secretive, Jimmy. I'm telling you, something's going on. If I screwed up the surprise, his wife would kill me. Literally. She was built like a lumberjack and she was real good with an axe. Anyway, I shall get going. We just got here, boss. At least finish your drink. Hey, look. Look at Cheech go. <laughs> I could swear I just finished that. The thing about the Don was, he got jumpy when he drank too much. Who did that? I'll plug you, you rat! But I got him home in time, just like I was supposed to. I guess the surprise was on them. The Don took out so many guys that night, I wound up getting made. But if you think I still got it made here in Regina, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Oh, someone's in a good mood. What can I say? The sun's up, the sky's blue, and me and Cheech are going to the track. My money's on third and the fifth. Who the hell names a horse third anyway? Isn't there something you want to say to me, Jimmy? What's for breakfast? No, something else. Um... Uh... Oh, right, you got your head done. Looks good. No, I didn't, you moron. You got no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Have a nice freaking day at the track. I hope a horse craps on you. Me too. It's good luck. You get the feeling Cookie was mad? What are you talking about? She said have a nice freaking day at the track, didn't she? Get a load of this. McCool's bringing me flowers. Don't be silly, Jimmy. These aren't for you, they're for Cookie. Hold up there, Kimosabi. You want to explain why you're bringing my wife flowers? And believe me, there's no right answer to that question. Ah, uh, Jimmy, your sense of humor is like a fresh breeze off the Canadian Rockies. Do I look like I'm joking? Seriously, tell me, because I can't see my own face. What a card you are, Jimmy. These are for Cookie's birthday. Oh, crap! Listen, you gotta help me out. Give me those flowers. Certainly not. I cultivated, picked, and arranged these myself. Well, would you look at that? Special Agent McCool remembered what Mr. What's for Breakfast over here forgot. Thank you, McCool. You are most welcome. Many happy returns, Cookie. For Canada, where no one forgets your birthday! Unless his name's Jimmy McDougal. Whoa, Cook, you got it all wrong. I know it's your birthday. I got a, a big surprise planned for you. Is that so? Well, I'm calling your bluff. Give me those. You're not pulling together some crappy gift at the last minute. Cook, I got a surprise planned like you wouldn't believe. Prepare to have your mind blown. Yeah? Well, prepare to never get blown again. I know a load of bullshit when I hear it. Jimmy, if we're not going to the track, can you let me out? Petey, why are my Cosmo pages all stuck together? Whoa. What are you doing? I realized what my biggest problem is when it comes to girls. That you're a complete loser? No, not that. The problem is, I don't know how to break the ice. So, I built a robot to do it for me. You sure that's a good idea? Last time you built one, it didn't work out so well. First rule of Robot Fight Club, build a robot. Second rule of Robot Fight Club, program that robot to fight. Petybot is programmed to meet, charm, and disarm girls. Then I step in to seal the deal. 
that won't work. He's still you. Just wait until you hear him say something suave. Something suave. <laughs> Ooh, Petey, aren't you going to introduce me to your robot friend? Ew. So you forgot Cookie's birthday. Big deal. She has one almost every year. She'll get over it. Oh, yeah? Remember the time I spent in the hospital back in New York? Sure. When those jackoffs from the Venucci crew plugged you. It wasn't the Venucci's. It was Cookie. I forgot our anniversary and she put one in me. That was Cookie? Right on. We went to war with the Venucci's over that one. I know. A lot of lives were lost, Jimmy. Yeah, I get it, Cheech. I mean, some of our best guys. Drop it, will you? Fine. I gotta get ready anyways. For what? I needed some me time. So, I got a ticket to this all-gal review. All-gal review? You mean like strippers? Nah, it's classy. Dinner and a show. Like the nightclubs in the old days before they all turned into discus. Dinner and a show? That's perfect! Cookie loves that kind of crap. I'll order tickets right now. Give me a laptop. No can do. It broke. All right, let's see some nakeds. Holy shit, it's Chief Falcone! No, it ain't. Okay, it is. How you been, Carmine? I'm gonna get you, you stinking rat! <laughs> Miss me, you son of a bitch! All right, listen. I've had a crush on her for weeks, but I've never been able to talk to her. Go introduce yourself, charm the pants off her, and set up a date. Affirmative. Remove. Girls. Pants. No, that's just an expression. Come here. I will charm the girl. That's better. Go get her! This is gonna be great. Goodbye loneliness. Goodbye Cosmo magazine. Goodbye crinkly socks. <laughs> yes, it worked! No, it worked too well! How is she Frenching him? He doesn't even have a tongue. Broken hips and wrinkly lips, a geriatric review. I don't know how you did it, but this is definitely a surprise. I gotta admit, I'm kinda hurt you didn't trust me, Cook. Give me two, good seats. 300 bucks. 300 bucks? Man, I should become a scalper. Is that word offensive to you people? Not at all. 500 bucks. It's the wreck right to me! It's, it's the wreck right to you! It's the wreck right to me! It's the wreck right to you! What a show! What? Huh? Oh, yeah! Bravo! I loved it! Uh. Especially that one song, Hot Flash Dance. I like the number where they fell and couldn't get up. It really spoke to me. Let's go backstage, Jimmy. I want to get an autograph. You coming? Nah, I'm gonna head home and see what I can do with the hole I blew in my laptop. If there's a tie on my door, don't come in. This job must be so much fun. When I was a kid, I wanted to be on Broadway. When I was a kid, I wanted to extort the unions on Broadway. <gasps> Jimmy? Are, are you Jimmy Falcone? What? No, you got the wrong guy. I don't know no Jimmy Falcone. Ah, crap, you've been recognized. Go call him a cool. All right, if it comes down to it and you got a whacker, get me an autograph first. Listen, lady, if I was you, I'd have a senior moment and forget you ever saw me. It's me, kid. It's you. You who? Me, your pop, Sal Falcone. Listen, you sick maniac, my pop is dead. And I'm not Jimmy Falcone. Drop the act, Jimmy. I know you're in witness protection. Don't worry. I'm not gonna rat out my own son. I hate to break it to you, Looney Tunes, but my father was a man. Not anymore, I ain't. Come here, kid. So, it's probably wrong that I have a boner right now, isn't it? Look, lady, I got no idea who you are, but there's no freaking way you're Jimmy's father. Yeah, my pop disappeared when I was 13. We all figured the Tortellini family offed him. And I hate to keep hopping on this, but he wasn't abroad. I swear on the eyes of my only son, which is you, that I used to be Sal Falcone. Okay, Sal Falcone. What was my mother's name? Apollonia Maria Teresa Falcone. Lucky guess. What about her maiden name? Butchino. Not bad. Okay, so when was I born? A little too soon after the wedding, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This is crazy! Are you an actual woman or just dressed up like one? Uh, let me explain. Jimmy, I loved your mother. She was a beautiful woman. But deep down, I always felt like a broad trapped inside a man's body. Of course, the mob don't look too kindly on that kind of thing. I had to be careful. It was starting to affect my work. I couldn't stop. 
I started taking stupid risks. I knew if I got caught, my friends would whack me. So I left to start a new life where I could finally, surgically, become a woman. Since then, I've been living as Sally Monero. That's quite a... I mean, what? The Google's down, down, down! Hey! What's the big idea? All right, we've neutralized the threat. You're safe for now. I'll take her downtown, grill her, and assess the situation. Don't worry, Jimmy. Canada has your back. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Make mine a double, then double it. What are you doing here? I am waiting for my date. I'm the one who's supposed to go on the dates. You're supposed to step aside and let me jump in. When the time is right. When is that gonna be? Indeterminate, need additional data. Come on, you're just jerking me around. Indeterminate, need additional data. This is not what I programmed you for. Hide, here she comes. Your presence is agreeable. Is that a new hat? Aw, oh, come on! Should I jump in now? Not yet. Now? Not yet. Uh, now? Not yet. Uh, uh. Why did I make him anatomically correct? So, what did she say? Good news, Jimmy. There's absolutely no risk of her informing on you. In fact, she's in more danger from the mob than you are. You merely broke a blood oath that you swore on your life to uphold. She turned into a lady. They hate that. <clears throat> Don't be that way, Jimmy. She's a delightful person with a wonderful sense of humor and a sparkling personality. Don't get any ideas, big guy. So now what? Do you make her disappear or do I? Disappear? Oh, contraire, I suggest you spend some time with her before she leaves town. I, too, lost my father at a young age, and not a day goes by I don't wish for a chance to speak to him again. To say, Father, why do you care more about huffing gasoline and chasing Thai ladyboys than you do your own son? But alas, I cannot. This is a gift, Jimmy. Open it. I think I'll just return it for store credit. Family is for life. All sales are final. For Canada! where it's not gay to be with a transgender! Hey! It's 4.15 and you're drunk? I had some soup at lunch and it was so good and then a bunch of my friends were having soup and then I just got crazy. <laughs> crazy. That soup is so f***ing good. You know your robot is nailing anything that moves at school. What? He broke up with Sheila, then started seeing Jenna, and broke up with her and saw Anna for a while, and now he's fooling around with Kelly. Dude is a player. You should get in on that action. I'm gonna hurl. Listen, Buster. I programmed you to get me a girlfriend, not to bang every girl in school. According to PDBot's calculations, the only chance of you having a girlfriend is if PDBot has one for you. That's insane! What can I say? Players gonna play, haters gonna hate, yo. Hey, Grandpa Marcel, when you turned into a lady, did the operation hurt? What operation, kid? I went into a cocoon. <laughs> hey, whose car is in the... Gotta go! Not so fast, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god, Daddy! Your daddy is so much fun! You got lovely kids here, Jimmy! <laughs> what the hell is he... She doing here? I went to apologize for getting her arrested. We got to talking, and I realized she's family. So what? Now every Tom, no Dick, and Sally who shows up is family? Give her a chance, will you? No, thanks. You get your ass over there and enjoy your goddamn family. No! Jimmy, where you going? Don't run out. What? Like you did to me? What an asshole. Pull over! We need to talk! No! We got some things to work out. No, we don't! Come on, kid! We gotta deal with this! I don't gotta do nothing!
Jimmy, can you? Hey! This ain't over, Jimmy! Damn it, I chipped a nail. That's for not calling me. Oh. That's for sleeping with my sister. Oh. That's from my mom. Oh. Your presence is agreeable. Oh, the guy's a machine. Police deny the helicopter crash had anything to do with a recent epidemic of teenage drunkenness. Hey, when is Grandpa Marcel going to visit again? She's going to show me how to off a guy with a scrunchie. She ain't coming back to this house. You kidding me? Why not? I don't want her around you. You're taking away the one woman I can actually learn something useful from. What? You're seriously robbing me of the only strong female role model in my life? I'm standing right here. Gina, I'm your father, and I can rob you of whatever the hell I want. Jimmy, that's enough. Don't listen to him, Gina. Go get yourself a cookie. What's the matter with you? Are you going to crap on everyone just because your father changed into a woman? Nah, that's his freaking business. What am I going to do, change him back? So what are you pissed off about? I'm pissed off because he left me! He never even said goodbye! Why? What did I do? Was it something wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? Oh, Jimmy, it wasn't your fault. Jesus Christ, what is this, an after-school special? Hey, Gina, get down here. There's someone who wants to see you. Grandpa Marcel's here? Nope, better than that. I'm real sorry for yelling at you. So I got you a pony. What the hell I need a pony for? Because you're the best little girl in the world and you deserve it. I don't want a pony. Sure you do, it's great. You can comb her hair, have tea parties, ride her around. You don't know me at all, do you, Pop? Of course I do. What kind of a father would I be if I didn't know my little girl? Come on, give her a spin. I don't wanna. It smells like Cheech's room. Just try it, will ya? Here, over here. Here, boy. Here, horse. Here, pony. Come on, pony. Come on. Come on, you f***ing horse. You trying to kill me, Pop? What the hell's the matter with you? Have fun, sweetie. Fuck you! I am a good father. Come on, hey, hey. <laughs> Sweetie? <gasps> Just checking in with my favorite oldest daughter. How about things, kid? How's your life? Fine, but I'm kind of busy right now. Just wanted to see how you're feeling. A little weirded out. Are you dying or something? No, no, I'm just fine. And I'm never leaving you. Well, at some point you're gonna die. Look, nobody's dying. I'm gonna kill you, Jimmy! What the hell are you doing buying Gina a psychotic pony? What? I'm just trying to be a good father. You're already a good father, mostly. Stop trying to prove it before you kill someone. It's Sally you need to work things out with. Now go talk to her, you big dope. She's right, Daddy. Go do that right now. Like, immediately. Yeah, get your head out of your ass, will ya? <sighs> You're right. I should probably go talk to him. Her. Darren, you can come out now. Darren? Darren? <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, pick up, pick up. It's an emergency, damn it. Hey. Oh, hey, Brad. Turns out I am free tonight. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but for the good of those girls and the continued survival of my nads, I need to power you down. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Petey. Hasta la vista, Petey Bot. <laughs> Wrong remote. I installed that. I am sorry, Petey, but it is you that must be terminated. Why do robots always turn on their masters? Why do masters always anger their robots? No, no. Damn it, that's of no use to me. Violence is never a solution. <laughs> okay, maybe under some circumstances. Hey, what's with all the racket? I killed. Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. Okay, I'm bored. Pop, wait! <clears throat> you got the stuff. You got the money. Ow! Ah, the mother! Who's in your trunk? A cop? 
the hell you doing, Pop? What's it look like? I'm selling weed. You kidding me? Hey, you can take the fella out of good fella, but that don't make him good. What the hell you doing here? All right, I don't like surprises. We're gonna have to plug you two. The hell you will. Pop, I don't care about you becoming a broad, but why the hell did you leave me? Wait a sec. This lady's your father? Yeah, I used to be a man. Deal with it. Do you got any idea how tough it was growing up without a dad around? What? You think it didn't tear my heart out to leave? You abandoned your own kid? That's unconscionable. Let's kill her. Wait, wait. I want to see where this is going. If I stayed and got caught, do you think you would have ever grown up to be a capo? Nah, you would have been a laughingstock. See? What choice did she have? Well, he could have suppressed his desire to be a woman and raised his son. That would have made for a real healthy father-son relationship. You better forgive your dad, mister. You mind your business. Yeah! Jimmy, can you ever forgive me? Yeah. After all, you was just looking out for me. I'm sorry I had to leave. Come here, you. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go call my stepdads. All seven of them. <laughs> Are you crying too? Don't look at me! <laughs> Pop, before you head out of town, let's enjoy the time we have together. I'd like that, Jimmy. Now what do you say we take these Joker's guns away and kick the shit out of them? Way ahead of you, kid. Come here! Mm, this is delicious, Cookie. What is it? A little thing I whipped up called Pony Parmigiano. Say, who's the dish, Jimmy? Mind if I take a crack at her? Cheech, uh, I don't know if you want to... Hey, gorgeous. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Cheech, you're hitting on your own brother. I'll take that as a maybe. Well, gang, here's to family. Family! family. To family. Which one's the button again? Ah, right, there it is. Hey, how you doing? I'm Cheech Falcone. Well, McDougal. I got the alias in witness protection because of my nephew, Jimmy. I don't like it, but I had no choice. So there's a contract out on me. Big deal. I mean, maybe I spilled a few secrets to anyone who'd listen, but there's a lot of other secrets I'd never tell a soul. Like the fact that we faked the moon landing. We were the ones that shot Dick Cheney's friend in the face. And we took the weapons of mass distraction out of Iraq. Someone got the memo wrong, but still, us. So, anyway. My nephew's gonna straighten things out with Don Gambini, whose first name, oddly enough, is Don. So if he wanted, he could call himself Don Don, which I would do. I mean, how cool would that be? Cheech don't mean no harm. He's just a little light in a cranial region. I got nothing to worry about. Jimmy will get me off the hook. Maron! Don Don's a pancake. Then the mob tried to kill us. Jimmy ratted everyone out to the feds, and we wound up in Regina. Vagina? No, wait, you were right. But if you think that's gonna stop me from shooting my mouth off, you can just... What is it? I forget what it is. Forget about it! That's the one! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. One, two, three, four, I, I declare, declare a thumb war. <coughs> okay, 12 nothing. Hey, Ma, I just saw Petey upstairs with one of them magazines where nobody's got no clothes on. What? Peter Frampton McDougal, you stop right now. No son of mine is washing with the devil's hands, so... All right, that worked. She's gone. Listen, I got a line on something big. Really? Sounds big. First things first. Every time I hatch a scheme, you two Gavones cut me out. Not this time. Either I'm in all the way, or I keep this to myself. Isn't she cute? Playing hardball like her old man. Okay, it's a deal, sweetie. All right. You know Al Capone, eh? Only the architect of modern crime. I love his work. Truly an inspiration. Well, he ran a bootlegging operation from a town near here. He dug all these tunnels to hide from the cops, and that's where his famous secret vault is. You kidding me? What's this town called? Moose Jaw. Look, Gina, there's no town called Moose Jaw. It's just a crazy made-up name, like Albuquerque. What do you know? The kid's onto something. There's one thing I don't get. What's that? 
Fractions, Jimmy. I never understood fractions. Hey, Anna. What's wrong? I'm just feeling down because no one ever asks me out. How do I get someone to ask me out? Sorry, I have no frame of reference. Of course not. You can get any guy you want without even trying. Heck, I even get guys I don't want without even... Yamahama, who's that? Oh, his name is Johnny. Can't talk, lusting. Okay, bye. Hey. Hello? Is somebody there? There sure is. I'm Teresa. Teresa. From Mr. Henderson's class. You've shown up twice in getting straight A's. Guilty as charged. Wanna frisk me? No, thanks. What's wrong with you? I'm hot! Are you blind or something? Hello? Oh, thank God, you can't see. I thought it was me. Yep, lucky you. How about you and I... Uh... This is weird. I usually seal the deal with hey. Sorry, no offense, but I like women with brains. Ideas, something going on upstairs? Come on over to my house. We'll get something going on upstairs. Oh, so it's not enough you blind people get all the best parking. Now you think you're too good for me? Well, I'm too good for you, mister! Who am I kidding? I am so in love. I'm starting to enjoy these clandestine meetings, Jimmy. The subterfuge, the intrigue, the covertness of it all. Me too! And by the way, if Cookie ever asks, we meet here every night. Anyway, I need permission to go out of town. Impossible. Your witness protection agreement strictly forbids it. But it's really important. Important? How so? Um, all right, I'll level with you. Cheech built himself a rocket. He's always been a, what do you call it, amateur rocket. Rocketeer, yes. So, we was going to go out to the woods and launch the thing. We don't want to do it in the city and blow our cover. James McDougal, I know you well enough to know when you're telling a lie, and frankly, this one is a doozy. All right, you got me. We just want to go to Moose Jaw. We hear the tacos are pretty good. Moose Jaw? That's hardly out of town. It's just down the road, practically a suburb. Permission granted. For Canada! And naming cities when you're drunk! What are you doing? I'm in love with the blind guy, so I'm trying to learn sign language. Ah. Uh... But it's useless. I should just forget about him. He only dates smart girls. I faked a lot of things in my life, but never smart. All right, Petey. I searched your room, the attic, and the garage. Where's the pornography? Mother, I don't have any pornography. Don't give me that. If you've got porn, you're a pervert. And if you don't have porn, then why the hell don't you have porn? Because boys your age have porn. That's not to say I don't know my way around a woman's body. Ew. What I don't get is how the kid knows where Capone's vault is. I told you I'm only doling out information on a need-to-know basis. This kid, she kills me. Al Capone's tunnels. I'm impressed, and I'm not easily impressed. Hey, look. Cows. What? Cows? Whoa, would you look at that? Cows, Jimmy, look. Jimmy. Just being in the same place Al Capone hung out has got me all excited. I've been excited since we pulled out a vagina. Yeah, me too. So let's get to it already. Crack open a sewer cover, let's find them tunnels. Tree, please. <sighs> all right, we're in. All right, you mugs. I'm your tour guide, see? You do as I say, see? One wrong move and you get it, see? <laughs> Who does this punk think he is ordering us around? Take it easy, it's part of the show. Let's start the tour, see? This way to Al Capone's tunnels, see? If he says see again, I'm blowing his head off. Did Capone dig these tunnels himself? No, they were dug by Chinese immigrants working under terrible conditions. Terrible, I tells ya. Did the Chinese then use these tunnels to deliver food? Pull back. The vault should be somewhere around here. Again, how does she know all of this? Shut your pie hole and make yourself useful. <laughs> Careful, my soft spot. It's this one. For the last time, how the hell does she know all of this? Al Capone's treasure. Get ready to be rich! Whoa! It's actually Al Capone! This is unbelievable. That's it? That's the treasure? What a f***ing rip-off! 
through all this trouble, and what do we get? Jewels, cash, gold? No, a stinking Al Caponsico. Hey, a little respect for a dead homie. Oh my God, you're alive! Oh my God, you're fat! Hey, is that nice? I thought we were having a state in the obvious contest. Who the heck are you, Muggs? I'm Jimmy. This is my Uncle Cheech. I'm your biggest Jimmy, Mr. Uncle. I'm Gina. I'm the one who sprung ya. You're a legend to us gangsters everywhere, Mr. Capone. Thanks. Why don't you call me Al? So, fellas, we back in business? Uh, the short answer is no. The word no makes me shower, Jimmy. Give me the long answer. Well, for starters, it's the 21st century. You pulling my leg? I got into that contraption in 1932. I was facing hard times, see? One day, my associate Frank Nitty found a hobo who looked just like me. It was like looking in a mirror, see? So I offered him a thousand beans to do my time for me. This egghead who made booze for me invented a freezing machine. He wanted to use it to freeze ketchup, but I had another idea. Thaw me when they paroled a hobo. <laughs> I wonder what happened to that fella. So you two are gangsters, eh? I could use a couple of mugs like you. I'm gonna start over, she. You two are getting in on the ground floor. It's the second coming of Al Capone. How does two grand a year sound? Really? You want us to work for you? You're darn tootin'. First things first, we gotta find a supplier for our whiskey. Uh, booze is legal now. They repealed prohibition. Damn that, Roosevelt. You get his. Well, they're still gambling girls, all sorts of rackets. Stick with me, boys, and know what I'm doing. You are 11 kilometers from Regina. This gal sounds like a real dish. Thanks, little lady. What do you say we meet up over Manhattan, and I'll tell you a thing or two? Prepare to exit right. Fine, be that way. Boy, 21st century dame sure can't give it a hi-hat. Your face feels very handsome. Teresa, I'm supposed to do that to see what you look like. Oh. Oh, right. What's your finger reading? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Born in Stratford on Avon? You know, that's where makeup comes from. Teresa, look, I'm flattered, but when it comes to girls, it's what's inside that counts. I don't care about looks. Oh my god. You're into fat chicks. I'm sorry. Oh yeah? Well, as the saying goes, turn me down once, shame on me. Turn me down twice, Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, I present to you, Mr. Al Capone! Nice to meet you, Mr. Capone. I'm Bonnie, and this is Clyde. Over there is Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Something tells me she's giving me the business. Let's break out the good china before John Dillinger gets here. I am so sorry about that, Al. Hey, if I weren't me, I wouldn't believe I was Al Capone either. Now be a doll and fix me a gimlet, will you? I have no idea what a gimlet is. Well, kid, once we're back in business, I'll teach you to mix a hundred different drinks. You know, she'll make a good cigarette girl. I ain't gonna be no girl in short skirts for nobody. I got bigger plans. You got moxie, kid. All right, I'll find something for you in the organization. Stick with me and you'll be Charlie Potatoes. Now you're talking my language. Here, have a beer. Beer in a can? How do you like that? How do you open this thing? Can you believe this? We're gonna work for Al Capone! You think the Mountie will let us do that? We don't need him. We'll be big shots in the new Capone organization. We'll be on opposite sides of the law like nature intended. Oh, wait. We can't work for Capone. He'll find out I was a rat and he'll deal with me the Chicago way. Well, uh, what does that mean? He's gonna kill you with a lot of wind? I'm talking a baseball bat to the head. He can't ever know. And the only way to make sure he never finds out is to tell him we can't work for him. Damn. Come on, Jimmy. He's a stand-up guy. If he runs you straight from you, he'll respect your honesty. Have I ever steered you wrong? How can you even say that with a straight face? <laughs> What's wrong? Blind boy is treating me like a stereotype. He can't see how hot I am, so he thinks there should be more to me. I said, duh, you just need eyes. Then he got all mad, stormed off, and fell into a fountain. For starters, maybe you should stop calling him blind boy. Okay, fine. But how do I snare this blind boy? I mean, cripple. First, go back to blind boy. Second, stop trying to act smart. Stop acting anything. Just be yourself. I don't know what that means. Well, if you don't know, how's he supposed to know? 
I found this in the bathroom. Tell me something, Petey. When Jesus comes back, do you want him to see you abusing your body like that? Do you want our Lord and Savior standing over you while you're slapping the salami like some kind of depraved zoo monkey? Mom, it isn't- oh, you expect me to believe that, do you? Well, just know this. Whenever you think you're alone, Mama's watching. That won't cause problems later in life. All right, Jimmy, if we're gonna run a 21st century business, I need to learn your 21st century gizmos. Show me something. Listen, Al, there's something I gotta tell you. What's this? It's a cellular telephone, but Al- a telephone? How do you like them apples? Operator, get me Klondike A21. Hello? Hello? That screwy dame sleeping on the job. Al, I really got it. Look at that! You got moving pictures in your living room. It's called a television. But Who's your colored kid talking? He's the President of the United States. I like you, Jimmy. You make me laugh. Look, Al, I gotta tell you something. Cheech and me, we thought it over. And we can't work for you. Come on, Jimmy, you can't back out now. I need you. It's just that I done some terrible things. We all done terrible things. That's what makes us so good at our jobs. No, but this one's really, really bad. Even you wouldn't approve. Come on, Jimmy. You think I didn't do stuff I wasn't proud of? I once shot my boss's dog. I had to. I shot my boss and the pooch shot the whole thing. Now, come on. Tell your Uncle Al what you did. Well, promise you won't get mad? I give you my word. You no good stool pigeon! You gave me your word! I don't gotta keep my word to you, she. You're a squealing little squealer, you low-down rat. Not the words I choose, but yes. But you said you needed me, Al. You call me Mr. Capone. There's rules in this racket, and you broke them, she. Damn it! Mr. Capone, come on. Don't do this. Go ahead and shoot, because I won't rest until you pay for what you've done. I can't do it. Then I'll be back for blood. Uh, your blood. Yeah, no, I got it. Hey, Jimmy. Don't sneak up on me like that! It's just me. What do you mean, just me? Did he tell you to say that? What's wrong with you? Al Capone's trying to kill me. Jimmy, I put up with a lot, but give me a break. That guy is not Al Capone. Yes, he is. We went through these tunnels in this other city and found him cryptomagnetically frozen. What? You went out of town and he didn't take me? Where's Uncle Al? He's not your uncle, but if you see him coming, whistle twice and throw Cheech in front of me. Gina, switch seats. I want my back against the wall. Pop, that was a car backfiring. Sounded like a shot. I know the difference. Look, Pop, for the record, if it comes down to it, I'm on Capone's side. I don't blame you, kid. With me out of the way, you're gonna need a father figure. Jimmy, this can't go on. You're hiding in like a little girl. No offense, Gina. Up yours. You're intimidated by the fact that he's a legend. Think of him as just a guy who puts on his underwear one hole at a time. You're right. He's just a guy. I can take just one guy. Hell, I could take ten guys. In a fight. I want to be clear on that. Interesting outfit, Jimmy. Shh, you hear that? What? What is it? It's too quiet. I don't like this. What are you talking about? needed a city map. Check out the water slide. It's a lot of fun. Eat up, men. There's plenty more where this came from. Boy, this is the best barbecue sauce I've ever eaten. Who made it? I did. I got the recipe from Barbecue Bill. What's in it? What's in it? Why, I'll tell you the recipe. When Barbecue Bill left the Mounties, he handed it down to me. A little of this, a little of that, a piece of old shoe, a part of a hat. Mix together and eat your fill, said old barbecue bill. 
Who could this be from? <laughs> you gotta help me, McCool. Someone's trying to kill me. My God, who? Al Capone. I left my Mountie barbecue for this? I'm serious! We found him underground in Moose Jaw in a big block of ice. Now he's out there stalking me and he wants my blood! Hmm, this is indeed serious. We must get you to safety before Al Capone finds you and does his worst. There, there, Jimmy. We'll find a safe haven for you. Thanks, McCool. I know I could count on you. Ah! Knock on that man! Fuck! You can't lock me up! He'll get to me in here! Nothing stops this guy! This is for your own good, Jimmy. Obviously, the strain of relocation has gotten to you. The doctor assures me that a strenuous regimen of enemas and testicular electroshock will put you right in no time. Yo, no one's zapping my boys. You're too far gone to realize it, but I am your friend, and I will see you through this. Pipe in some Kenny G to soothe the poor man. No! We need to talk. Teresa, please. Put down your bumpy book. I got something to say. All right. What is it? You will write about me. The truth is, I don't know who I am. I look to other people to define myself like some crazy one-way mirror. And I'm always afraid that if I don't live up to what they want me to be, they'll ignore me or not pay any attention to me at all. Wow. Underneath the makeup, the fashion, the unbridled sexuality, you're just a scared little girl. And you're the first boy I've ever met who wants to know that girl. Oh, Teresa, come here. Yamahama, who's that? Doc, I'm fine. As soon as they come, now you gotta let me out of here. Yeah, all right, Jimmy boy. You outsmarted. <coughs> Yeah. Come with me if you want to live. I thought you was on Capone's team. What am I gonna do? You're my pops. Besides, Capone's broke. He's a schmuck. Nurse, you gotta help me. Someone's trying to kill me. Oh, crap. I got an apple to peel with you, Buster. Al. Be reasonable. I'm wearing a dress. Reason went out the window days ago. We have a code, Shane. You broke that code. Hold on. According to the code, if someone saves your life... Hold on. I got it right here. If someone saves your life, you have to recipro... Recipro... Sound it out, honey. Reciprocate. It means never try to kill them. Let me see that. Well, what do you know? Can't argue with the code. Well, I guess we're even. Put it there, Pally. Thanks a lot, Al. Let's dust out of here. I guess this is where we part ways. But what will he do? Where will you go? Every time there's a buck to be made for a legal hooch, I'll be there. Every time a lonely young girl comes to the big city for the first time, I'll be there to force her into prostitution. Every time a truck leaves a warehouse full of valuables, by God, Jimmy! I'll be there. Bye, Uncle Capone. So long, Al. Oh. Come now, Jimmy. We've got to make you sane. Doctor, fire up the electroshock room. Jimmy, drop your pants. Uh, uh. How you doing? It's me, Gina. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm not wearing a seatbelt, neither. Blow me. Before Pops became the fattest stool pigeon in history, he was my hero. If there was an award for Father of the Year, Pop would have got it. Don Francesco says hello. <laughs> <laughs> then this happens. So I look at the FBI guy and say, you stinking feds can blow me. I ain't testifying against nobody. Then the man from the Fed says, but the mob is going to kill you and your whole family, Jimmy. You with me so far, kid? I get it. You're turning rats. Just wait. There's more. If you testify, we can give you immunity. Do you know what immunity means? Enough with the fucking puppets! <laughs> oh! Now Pops is the puppet and the feds are the ones pulling the strings. This is the thanks I get for saving all your lives. And if you don't think I'm better off dead than living in Canada's icy butt crack, forget about it. Uh, 
Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. You clowns think you can avoid me? <laughs> we have nap time together every day. Now cough it up. The new kid already took our money. What are you little crap stains trying to pull? Who's this new kid? <sighs> Just give me another wedgie and let me go. Another wedgie? <laughs> Who gave you the first one? Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah! Hide behind the skinniest statue on Earth, dumbass. <gasps> I know this looks bad, but for once, I'm innocent. I think the furnace is on the fritz. What's 10 degrees in American? Dunno. Depends on the exchange rate. Apologies for the intrusion, but I'm here to save the day. What's with the pantyhose? It's a unitard. I'm Maple Man. Maple Man? Canadian superhero? Fighting minor infractions and belligerents everywhere? You look unitarded, Captain Leaf. <gasps> Teresa, why are you dressed up as Sapling Girl? Maple Man's trusty sidekick? Who's always getting him out of sticky situations? I'm just wearing what they gave me for my job as a booth babe at Regina Comic Con. <gasps> Do you know what this means? Of course not. You'll be working with Bentley Withermoon, the renowned actor who plays Terrence Timber, AKA Maple Man. Sounds like a lot of nerds. I better bring my pepper spray. Teresa, you have to introduce me to him. So much of my belief system is based on the teachings of Maple Man. Well, it's a hundred bucks for an autograph, 300 for a photo, or a thousand to brush his hair. I have to go sell my stamp collection. Hey, can I borrow your brush? Gina. You have irreparably damaged school spirit here at Celine Dion Elementary. Don't worry, our hearts will go on. The only place that'll accept you now, my dear, is Our Lady of Peace School for Wayward Girls. Not the nuns. No, anything but the nuns! That's right. Enjoy that juice while you still can. <laughs> the only snacks the nuns will give you are warm holy water and stale body of Christ. Yummy! <gasps> Thank you for coming, Mr. McDougal. I came as soon as I got your call. You got a real sultry phone voice. Well, I'm afraid Gina's in a great deal of trouble. Your fancy skeleton statue nearly crushes her, and she's the one in trouble? You got a lot of nerve, Professor. Next thing you know, she'll be blaming you for this hat that I stole off the special ed kid. Well, we talked her down to a one-day suspension. Pretty good for your old man, huh? Just wait till I get my hands on that kid who framed me. Knock out his teeth for me, will you? I miss reading Rainbow for this. Five seconds and I'll be shaking hands with a syndicated television legend. Okay, that's it for today. Maple Syrup Man will be back tomorrow. For some reason. Teresa! Teresa! Introduce me! Uh, Tabitha, I had some notes regarding your booth babing skills. Shall we discuss them over a drink? Sorry, I left my fake ID at home. <laughs> Don't worry. No one asks for ID in my hotel room. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm really tired from wincing at people's breath all day. Most girls in your position would leap at the chance to get a few tips from an industry veteran. Sorry you were in the war, but thanks anyway. See you tomorrow. Teresa, you gotta introduce me to... Buzz off, nerd! <laughs> Oh, Edie, I didn't recognize you in your pajamas. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. You ever worried that... I said shoot. Come on, it's your turn. Oh, right. <laughs> you missed. What a loser. Cheech, you ever worry things are slipping out of your control? Yeah, but I got special underpants for that. It's this mystery kid at school. He's haunting me. And I don't even know what he looks like. The kid without a face? 
How am I supposed to sleep now? Let me tell you, Francis Bacon once said, no, wait, it was Kevin Bacon. He said, knowledge is power. Yeah, I should snoop around, find out who this kid is. Good idea, Cheech. Oh, and if you call me a loser again, I'll slice your fucking nuts off. Ooh, you're tough, but fair. <laughs> Get the file on the new kid and check the teacher's lounge for snacks. Not in that order. What the hell is this? In case you gotta hack into the mainframe or some shit. Hey, why is my locker open? What the hell is this? It's a picture of the best summer of my life. <gasps> Carmine! I'm back! Oof. That's for getting me suspended. Not that I care, but still. And that's for breaking Celine Dion. What was that for? That's because I missed you. I'm impressed. Must have took a lot of determination to track us down. You know, your pop killing my pop and all, it, it gets you out of bed in the morning. That, and I wanted to see you again. Muscling in on my marks was a nice touch. And you're short. Shut up! I grew one and a quarter inches since last summer. I mean on the vig, you chiseling mook. I got expenses. Taking a cab all the way from Brooklyn wasn't cheap. The meat is still running. You want to lift to your house? What was I, born yesterday? Come on, I'm going to find Cheech sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. These vendettas take a lot out of you. Well, good luck finding him. The guy's a phantom. He lives in the shadows and moves as silent as a warm breeze. Hurry up, Gina. Cheech Falcone is getting bored! Anyway, Carmine, I ain't gonna make getting the Cheech easy for you. I wouldn't want you to. Last time I had any real fun was when you and me mixed it up at camp. You mean when I kicked your ass? How do you know I didn't let you kick my ass? And the gloves are off. <laughs> if you say so. I left you a juice box and some crackers. See you soon. You backstabbing son of a whore! Open this door! Fruit punch. Oh, you remembered my favorite! What's she doing here? Replacing someone who doesn't know how to play ball. Oh, I know how. Just not with yours. Sadly, Tabitha, you lack the talent to portray a convincing sapling girl. Like it takes talent to have a unitard jammed up your butt. I'll have you know I majored in unitards at Juilliard. Come on, Petey. Let's get away from Doctor Who wants me to touch his wiener. But I sold my stamp collection. I told you the furnace wouldn't fix itself. Now the toilet water's frozen. I know, I've been chipping yellow ice all night trying to get my cell phone out. Chase dropped a deuce and it's just sitting there, mocking me. That's it, I'm calling the repairman. Is Cheech here? Nope. Damn it! Between you and me, you don't really like Cheech much, do ya? What are you talking about? He's great! I mean, he's all right. He means well. Actually, he does it, but he's my uncle! What do you want? But if he wasn't around no more, we'd be okay, right? Maybe you would, but who the hell would I hang out with? What, did you kill him? How'd you do it? Me and Ma have a bet. <laughs> Holy crap! I was kidding around! You did kill him! Jesus Christ, Gina! I didn't touch him! I haven't seen him since last night! <laughs> it's all my fault! Kid, relax. I saw him an hour ago. He went to them Nerd Olympics with Teresa. Why do you think he was dead? I'll tell you on the way. Come on. And I wasn't crying. What do you mean you can't get here for two days? It's so cold, I can see Cheech's breath. I thought Comic-Con was gonna be a comedy show for convicts. You know, where every punchline is, don't drop the soap. <laughs> you know who should be in prison? Bentley Withamoon. He almost was, three times, but he always got off. It's ironic, nothing sticks to Maple Man. Why are you sticking up for him? The guy's a pig. He's not a pig. He's the product of the forbidden love between man and maple tree. You just can't see the real him past your nerd boner. By the way, you should wear a jock under that costume. Man, I ain't seen so much butt crack since we extorted the plumber's union. Maybe there was something else you did wrong? He fired me because I wouldn't put out. What? Guy sounds like a creep. No respect for the ladies. 
Yo, space jugs! Let's see if I can come in peace. Cookie, shame on you for even thinking of calling a repairman when you have me. A housewife? Alone? A repairman? Oh, that reminds me of a dirty movie I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Strange. Ah, there's nothing like using your hands to bring back the heat. Good thing I brought my big tool. That was a line in the movie. <gasps> Did you ever appear I don't know what you're referring to, Cookie. I'm just here to perform some sweaty, dirty work. That's another line! Ah, you're the Randy Repairman! Damn my gambling days. I knew that video would come back to haunt me. Sir, can I see your wristband? <laughs> How is this the first I'm hearing about Gambini's kid? What, I gotta tell you every little thing? You do when our lives are at stake? What if he squealed on us to the mob? Then we'd be having this conversation in hell. The day Cheech gets taken out by a six-year-old, I'll leave my shirt. Well, get ready to choke down some polyester, because this kid's the real deal. Got a little crush there, kid? Yeah. I mean, no! Shut up, dumbass! All right, to be continued. Now, let's find Cheech quick before we wind up relocated to Yellow Horse or White Knife or some f***ing place. <gasps> God, you can almost smell the virginity in here. Hello? I'm down here. How you doing? I'm Gina's friend. That's funny, because Gina doesn't have any friends. Oh, you calling me a liar, Gina's mom? Nobody calls me a liar. Where do you get off? What, did somebody drop a deuce in your cereal this morning? Get dried up, old floozy? Oh, yeah, okay, now it makes sense. Come on in and wait for her. So, what's a guy got to do to get some milk and cookies around here? Oh, you're a hungry little spark plug, ain't ya? <laughs> yeah, hungry for revenge. <laughs> Good one. Hello? Cookie? Nice to finally meet you, Cheech. You're bigger than I imagined. Has everyone seen my movie? Who wants cookies? Hey, where'd you go? Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> hey, you're not Cheech. No shit, you little monster. Oh, Jesus, McCool! Oh, oh. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's gone. <gasps> Hold me, Randy. Tighter. Cookie, get a hold of yourself. Who was that crazed demon child? It was Gina's friend. Oh, that explains a lot. But why was he have to cheat? I don't know. Let's go down to the comic book convention and ask him. A comic book convention? And I get to kill Cheech? Double win! Jeez, I hope Pops having better luck finding Cheech than I am. <laughs> Oh, Gina! That's for locking me in my locker. Thanks for the snacks, though. Hey, can I ask you something? Say you do off Uncle Cheech. What next? Oh, I got plans. I want you and me to run away together. Hit the open road like Bonnie and Clyde. You want to get gunned down in slow motion at the end of an old movie? No, I mean the bank robbing parts. But none of the kissy parts. Ew, you're gross. Maybe the huggy parts. Don't get your hopes up, sicko. But look, do you really gotta kill my uncle? Of course I do. Good luck finding Cheech in this joint. The man's a master of disguise and concealment. He could be standing right behind me and you'd never know. Yo, Gina, spot your uncle Cheech a couple of bucks for a slice, will you? Damn it! I've been looking for you, mister. Not another one. Look, Junior, I know what you're thinking. But I ain't your father. Holy crap, you're even dumber than the legends. Time to put you out of my misery. Yo, look, everybody. It's a midget from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Funny, huh? They never look as tall in person. But this is official police business. Let me in. Not until I see a wristband, sir. Can we wrap this up soon, Sugar Cheeks? Oh, I'm getting right as cramp. Oh! 
What's the meaning of this, you me wannabe? In season one, episode four of The Adventures of Maple Man, you vow to stand against injustice no matter where it occurred, even if the hour was late and the location less than convenient. If you want to quote the show to me, that's an extra $60. Silence! Maple Man stands for fairness, equality, and decency. You stand for none of those things, you egocentric, misogynist hypocrite! How dare you! How dare you, sir? You have no right to fill the sacred Maple Man unitard. Security? Sure, hide behind your goons. Oh, hi, Jetsy. Ah! <laughs> Maple Man, thank God you're here. I fell through this table. Uh, would Cheech McDougal please proceed to the information desk? That's the big table near the front door. If you get confused, tell a grown-up you're lost. Uh, over and out. Well, if it ain't Jimmy Falcone. Oh, come on! Look at you, excuse me! Cheech McDougal, do not come to the information desk! Repeat, do not make up your mind! Gee, kid, you got the same psychotic spark in your eye as your old man. I also got his propensity for violent blood-soaked revenge. And his inability to whistle. Kid, look, I owe you a huge apology. I'm sorry for what happened with your pops. He was a, well, I won't say a good man. He was a man. Let's leave it at that. You call that half-ass tap dance an apology? You murderized him! He was gonna kill my uncle, then I would've had to kill him back, so we skipped his step. But don't take it out on Cheech. I'm the guy you want. Don't worry. I promised Gina I'd never touch ya. Who's worried? But that's nice. She's a good kid. Oh, she's great! Easy there, Romeo. But listen, you kinda already got your revenge on me. How do you figure? Look at me. Look around ya. I'm living like a schmuck here. I mean, my life ain't bad, but it's a far fucking cry from good, know what I mean? Oh, uh, for Christ's sake. For the last time, kid. I never been your mother. <sighs> Let me tell you something, you ignominious little snot stain. I am a classically trained actor. If it weren't for all the money I make and during these weekends with you halitosis-ridden cretins, I'd never be caught dead in this asinine outfit providing masturbatory fantasy fodder for overgrown adolescent twerps. And furthermore, I hate Canada, and Maple Man can gobble my knob! <gasps> Did you get that, Teresa? He's a one-take wonder. And post. I hate Canada, and Maple Man can gobble my knob! You look fat in that suit. Oh. Teresa! That's not nice. What? Bitch took my job. I told you I wouldn't make this easy for you, so you're gonna have to go through me. You know, for a guy you can't stand, you sure do seem to care a lot about Cheech. Trust me, this is killing me. I'm gonna regret it the next time he opens his mouth. Wait a sec. Does your mother do hoop waxes down at the Korean spa? See what I mean? <laughs> <sighs> All right. I changed my mind about off and Cheech, but not about... What? That sounds mushy. So, spit it out. Nah, some things are better left unsaid. What are you, chicken? Shut up! I'm no chicken. You're a chicken! Yeah, yeah, I'm rubber, you're glue. Just shut the f*** up and tell me! <sighs> I didn't change my mind about how much I like you. Um, I'm glad about that. And being glad... Hurts my face. You make my face hurt too, Gina. So, what do you say you and me shake down a couple of these booths? Why not? These dorks have been bullied all their lives. They know the drill. Hey! <gasps> You're under arrest for assaulting a police officer, young man. It's maximum security juvie for you. It'll be no picnic, my fine friend. Lights out by ten and only four hours of social media per day. Cool! Wait! Aww. Guess I'll have to take a rain check. Guess so. But those blowjob screws won't keep me down for long. You gonna wait for me? <laughs> Screw that. That's my gal. 
Well, son, I hope you picked up some comics to read where you're going. For Canada! A dumping ground for American culture since 1867! I knew it! There is a more north! Yes, Jimmy, and this is where we'll be until I'm certain the elusive Carmine Gambini is no longer a threat. How soon did he give you the slip? Somewhere between the washrooms and the parking lot. That's my boy. Petey, did you see how many hits our Maple Man video got? Yeah, but look what they're calling it. Idiot fan pwned by Maple Man. I can't take this no more. I'm walking home. I'll just head south. How hard can it be? Which way is south? We're so far north, it's all friggin' south! Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>